Esposito! What's up? So, I'm not gonna say big duel because I've you know, kinda got a lot of big duels coming. Business as usual. Um, biggest thing I wanna ask you, man, you're a technique savant. Um, I love picking the brain, talking to you about wrestling. I know you study an unbelievable amount. And you've been in this coaching game for a minute. Explain a little bit about your drive to be a great technician and, and like what keeps you wanting to be that technician. I just enjoy it, mostly. I think I just enjoy it so much that it's not really a job. It's just keep developing and you can't stop developing. If you do, then you get passed up. But it's really not so much out of fear. Just It's mostly just because I enjoy it. I, I could watch wrestling every day, you know? So it's a nice thing about having kids, but you put them in bed, you lay with them at night, I can watch about a good hour of film. <laughs> so. so you got you got brothers to coach, you came up through the Oklahoma State program. I, I've always marveled at everybody that comes through the program, it seems that I come in contact with is a great technician, even if they weren't an amazing wrestler, national champ. Um, and I asked Perry about that, and I've asked Coleman, I've asked everybody, like, what, what experience did you have or maybe it was in your brain before that you just wanted to be a great technician and, and perfect technique, but, well, but what, is, yeah. what has that been like? I mean, that's what drew me to Oklahoma State was the skill and technique, you know. Being around Coach Smith for the past, you know, almost, you know, almost 20, you know, 18, 19 years Man, now, you know, so, Ooh. you know, uh, but that's what drew me to it. I mean, ever since younger growing up with, you know, my club coach, Bernie Monaco, and then not to Blair with Buxton, and. You know, my my kind of man mentality was always kind of based around skill, you know, so kind of developed that love for it at a young age and just stayed with it. So, I mean, that's what drew me to Oklahoma State. Other than, I mean, the tradition and, and, and you know, wearing the orange and black and the great guys that came through the programs. I mean, there's just a ton of reasons why to kind of go through it. So, um, You talk to even old heads now, guys that have been around the sport a while, and you talk about Darkfish TV and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And like people, There's still a lot of people that have no yeah. clue. Like that was the only source for any type of international yeah. wrestling. Um, when did your love for international wrestling start? Yeah, you know that's kind of like the debate right now is why so many kids younger so much better, and and they argue coaching or they argue the RTCs and they argue this, but you know, in order for me to get a tape, I had to steal it from my coach, and it was only one tape that you could get, you know, and it was, I mean, those things were fragile back in the day, and people weren't. You know, people were greedy with them too. So, I mean, they would hoard them. Uh, but I mean, as as early, uh, um, our club coach at Edge, you know, Ernie was, um, Edge. you know, he taught us, you know, a lot off of, you know, the great technicians, and and a little bit is because maybe he had the film to show us, and you know, it's just then you could learn, you know, extra on your own. That's why it's like YouTube now. It's like you're watching your Regan tournament today, and you right. can watch our duel, and you can watch another duel, and last night you could watch a duel. You know, it's just, it's just, it's at your fingertips if you can just filter through it and, and develop from it. So, you know, you really can be your own coach a lot of times, you know, own, but uh, real young age, real young age of just doing it because as a visual learner, as most kids are, and what you see is what you do, you know, so. So you've mentioned Coach Monaco a couple times, the godfather, pretty much the dude that, that yeah. came up with the private club training idea, like he was the first private training club, I think, ever. Yeah. Um, I think the Seagull Club might might have been one of the first organized kind of and USA clubs, but like Monaco, I mean, you go look at the Wall of Fame and guys like you and the Duke and like all these amazing wrestlers that came out of that. I, I was talking to Coleman earlier and he, he kind of came up in Angry Fish with Brenzer yeah. and those guys. Yeah. Um, so talk about coming up through that club. I mean, obviously... It was, people, it people, was compact. It was yeah. compact. So, you know, you didn't... It wasn't... I, wanna, I don't want to say watered down, you know, that there's so many different places, but... You know, we had people traveling from two hours away to practice, you know, to and from two hours away. We had people traveling, you know, nearby. So there's this huge radius of, of kids that were good, you know, throughout the state that would come in. And, and even for the nearby states, um, you know, and it was just a high level of skill. You know, I already had a brother, Carl Monaco, that was an NCAA runner-up. And, you know, back then it was like if you win your Division Two Nationals, you go on to the next one. Um, so... You know, it was just it was just a real healthy environment. Uh, a lot of the skill and a lot of the you know 
kind of mindset that he gave us, um, you know, still lasts to this day. So sometimes it's even funny, like even when I hear Coach Smith say something, I think, I'm like, oh, Ernie used to say that, you know, or Buxton used to say that, you know. So, like, I was very fortunate enough to have great coaches in my life that were, you know, beyond technique, but just, you know, life role models. So, you're, I mean, you're mentioning, you mentioned Buxton, Smith, mm -hmm. Monaco, you're talking yeah. about three guys that made massive impacts and yeah. they're, they're pretty much field of study and field mm -hmm. of training. Yeah. Um, appreciate you letting us catch Thanks. up with you. Appreciate man. it. Thanks.